Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day, another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want us to consider um, something because I, am, I have a medical background. Uh, that's why I think it's pertinent to, to note this. I think I have pointed it out sometime in the past, or within the last three years. But I think it's pertinent we draw, we bring it back into the fore. In John chapter 11, it talks about the, or narrates the happenings between Jesus, Lazarus, Martha, and Mary, and uh, the crowd. Now, what was sent to Jesus that his bosom friend, Lazarus, was sick? And it was um, getting worse as the minutes ticked by. And ultimately, Lazarus passed on. Now, Lazarus was dead, humanly speaking, and put in a grave. Yes, he was embalmed, quote and unquote. But that embalming is not like the Egyptian embalming. Um, he was dead to the point, excuse my language, where his sister had queried that he would be putting off a foul order. What, did, what does that actually mean? It meant that putrefactive necrosis, or putrif will I even call it putrefication? Because the Bible says the putrid order, uh, colliquative necrosis, necrosis of the tissues, that is the tissues would have started dying and from the inside they would have started getting liquid chemical reactions would have taken place that the cells the integrity of the cells would have been permanently destroyed from the inside out remember he was dead and put in the grave for f at least four days four days now all kinds of um bacterial degradation Aside from the fact that the cells themselves would have started lysing or dying, or that is, would have died on their own and started uh, liquefying on their own, bacteria would have started thriving in this corpse. Now, have you thought about all the chemical processes that would have had to have occurred in that corpse? in reverse order for that corpse to bring forth life again that is all those cells that had died been ruptured lysed the red blood cells themselves the clotting that would have occurred and all things would have had to now reverse and reverse instantly for the integrity of the cells to be reformed for the integrity of the uh, organs to be, uh, tissues to be reformed the integrity of the organs to be reformed and life to sprout in it it is mind-blowing if you think about it you will just realize that our god is too much so what is that pony problem you have if at the at the at the hack, at the at the cry of his voice, all those things could reverse instantly. What is your own problem? What is your own problem? Think about it. God bless you. Hallelujah.